<laughs> no, it's legit. It's a legit rugby. All right. So I'm going to do the same thing. Again, look to see if there's any vertical asymptotes, right? Always, remember, first step was always factor. Always look to factor, factor. So here, I can't factor a numerator. But in my denominator, what can I factor out? An x. Uh-oh, guess what can divide out? The x minus 3. So do you guys remember what happens when that divides out? That becomes a, a whole, right? So our vertical asymptote is now not going to be the denominator set equal to 0, because that's a whole. So we're just going to set this x equal to 0, because that's the only thing that's not a whole. Does that make sense? So your vertical asymptote is x equals 0, and x minus 3 we'll just call a whole. It didn't say um, so our whole is at x equals 3. So it's not an asymptote. Just be very careful with that. A lot of students will make that mistake. You written this down? This is homework. I'm giving you free answers, right? Well, you set, it, you set your whole equal to 0 just like you would with the vertical asymptote, and x equals 3 is your whole. All right, horizontal asymptote. I like the problems you guys chose because the last, last problem we did, the degrees were the same, right? This one you guys chose, the degrees are not the same. The degree in the denominator is greater than the degree in the numerator. So via your horizontal asymptote, the horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. Whenever the degree in the denominator is larger than the degree in the numerator, it's equal to y equals 0. Always. Done. And then slant asymptote. Did we have a horizontal asymptote? Yep. So none. Um, X-intercept, y equals 0. Do you guys remember my little trick that I said for when y equals 0, you're basically setting the numerator equal to 0. So therefore, x equals 3 is my x-intercept. Um, however, what do we have at the x equals 3? What is it? Whole. So guess what? Is there an x-intercept? No, it's actually none because um, at x equals 3, there's a hole. It would be perfect if, there, if, there, if we didn't have a hole there, then that would be our x-intercept. But since there's a hole at 3, there is no x-intercept because it technically doesn't exist. It's a hole. To find the y-intercept, x equals 0. So you just plug 0 in for x. And we end up getting y equals 0 minus 3 over 0 squared minus 3 times 0, which is negative 3 over 0. Can you divide by 0? Nope. So there's no y-intercept. 